Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events. And in the previous video, we started with top of page event. We have written the logic as a part of top of page event. We are printing the page number and we are printing the column labels as a part of which event top of page and we all know top of page whatever the logic you are writing it will print at the beginning of a every new page at the beginning of a new page now what i will do before starting or before understanding in the debugging mode i will put some more records in the table so that we can understand fully. This is our table order header table. I will go to SM30. I will maintain few more records. I'll go to maintain button. Suppose as of now we have five order numbers. So I will put suppose five more order numbers. So we have one shortcut here also. You can just select those five records. And you can see we have an option of copy. Copy. Now just change the order number. Suppose six. Because same primary key cannot be do. We cannot go for duplicate records of the primary key. We need to change the order number. So I went for order number six to ten. Other things are same to same. No problem. I will go for same. Now you can see we have 10 records. This is shortcut. You can copy the records and change the primary key because primary key cannot be duplicate. So now we have 10 records in the table. Now I will go to the program. I will put a breakpoint. And it is very important to understand the flow of top of page. While going for theoretical part, it is very easy that it is giving the header or title. But internally, how it is giving, that is more and more important. So I put the breakpoint on all the five events. All the five events. I will go for execute. Whenever I will click on to execute button, firstly, before displaying the selection screen, which event called initialization, this logic will trigger and it will assign the default values to order date. Now you can see other events has not triggered at all. Suppose I'm not going for payment mode and currency because anyways it's optional. You are passing or not passing, it's your wishes. I'm simply simply clicking on to execute button. Whenever I will click on to execute button, firstly, which event will call at selection screen because it will validate the input first. If the input is correct, then it will go to which event start of selection because start of selection always triggers on which, e which button execute button. I will go to execute. Now you can see. Firstly, it is triggering your add selection screen. We have not given the value of payment mode. So first condition is false itself. Now it will go to which event? Start of selection. Now we are on start of selection. Now this query will execute. Where this query will execute. It will fetch data from order header table and data will come into this internal table. You can see as of now, we have zero records in the internal table. If I will show you internal table, it has zero record and four column. Now, based upon these three things, anyways, we are only passing order date, payment mode and currency we have not given. So based upon these three conditions, it will fetch data from order header table and data will come into this internal table. I'm going for F6 line by line execution. Now you can see we have 10 records in the internal table, 10 records. 
Now the most most important part will start based upon our current event. Now we have ten records in the internal table. Now this loop one by one record will go to work area and it will print the records using which using which particular statement right statement. Now my question is. Will it print the records or it will trigger top of page? Yes. Just see how it will work. It is very, very important point. See, first record from the internal table is going to work area. You can see side tapix is one. Now we have the first right statement in the program. Just see. Whenever we have the first right statement triggers in the program. Now this right statement will write the record. But before writing the record, it should give the header or title. It should give the header. Simple. It is a simple understanding. Your data should not print. Firstly, your column labels. Whatever you are giving through top of page, it should print. See, we have the site tabix one and first record, yes, from the internal table went to work area. Now we have the right statement. It will not write. Firstly, it will directly jump to which event top of page. Have you seen it? The control directly on to which event top of page. So firstly, it is going for the labels. It is going for the headers. It is going for whatever we gave as a top of page event. So whenever we have the first right statement at that time, the top of page event trigger first. So it is printing the page number. You can see we have the page number one. Now it is giving the column labels. We are going for column label. Now have you seen control when to start of selection? Now start of selection. And side tabix is one. Now it will print the first record. Now it will write the first record. It is extremely important point from the interview perspective. Yes, whenever we have the right statement, SAP identified that you are printing the data, you are writing the data. So firstly, it automatically went to top of page. Then it is coming on to printing that data. And this is all about real. Your data is coming after the labels, after the headers. Now it will write the first record. This loop will continue how many times? 10 times. So it will print the second record. It will print the third record. You can see side tabix is changing. Four. Now we have five. Now we have six. Now we have seven. Now we have eight. Now we have nine. And now we have tenth record. Now end of data has been reached. Our record has been ended. Now there is no further record. And have you seen control automatically went to which event end of selection? Because see, end of selection event what? Whenever you are all data has ended, all records has ended, your last statement of start of selection execute control automatically went to which particular event end of selection. And this is the output. Have you seen this page number? And this column labels are coming through which particular event top of page. And at what time this event triggered automatically. If I will delete the breakpoints and show you this event, whenever we have the right statement, it has not written the record. Firstly, whenever it identified that you are writing something, it automatically went to what? top of page, then it is coming on to printing that data one by one. Extremely, extremely important understanding in the debugging mode. Now in the next video, what we will do as of now, we have only one page in the output. If you see, we have only one page in the output. 
but we will do now we will learn multiple pages and we will again understand top of page event it's a very very important understanding in the next video we will understand top of page by going for multiple pages so that's it in this particular video thank you